You notice what's going on? Because we went through this yesterday when we interviewed Ludacris. Go back to that poster, please. Uh, we all know him as 50 Cent, but the, the, the poster says Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Well, yeah. I asked and Ludacris uh, was doing the exact same thing yesterday. He's like, Chris Ludacris Bridges, I, I think. Bridges, yeah. Right? Yeah, and now they're now these rap guys are starting to claim that Ludacris is their character, Fifty Cent is their character, character. But their real, uh, their real persona is like in this case Curtis Jackson. That way they could deal with the movie industry people without the movie industry people looking at them like, oh, you're a thug. I've heard of your music. It's, yeah, uh, it's like no, that's you know, a character. A, no, no, that's a character. That's a character. How come that doesn't work on the radio? Right. How come if I say something awful, uh, I'm taking taken to task uh, as me? Because you're using your real name, you got to like come up with like. But but so is is uh, a fitty fitty. Well, not in the movie, I guess. What's your nickname? I, I I've known you for fourteen fake, years. What's your nickname? I got to come up with a fake name, but um, I don't have a nickname. You uh, never had a nickname growing up. Mm. Pederast. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> there was never a time where people were trying to get a nickname going for you. And yeah, it, it didn't work. Never what? caught on. I just mm. never really. What had was a the one that almost caught on? Everyone has a nickname. Homo. No, I you I, never I, had one. I, I would completely fess up. There just was never a, a nickname for me. Never. I had, had one. one. You did? Yeah, I did actually. When I was uh, I sort of cutest boy. No, no, I, sweetest sweetest boy in town sweetest was an award I would in, win. Oh, year after year after year, let someone <laughs> yes. else win that, Jimmy. My I God, know. selfish boy whose smile was uh, most likely to brighten your day. <laughs> I was when I was a boy. I was not supposed to, and the Wilkerson boy was, but then a mysterious fire burned him, and I won. Oh, 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 oh I wonder how that. No, happened. my nickname in, when I was uh, like seventeen or eighteen I used to work at Pergament was Toast. That became my nickname. Toast. For real. Oh, yeah. I'm not kidding you. Why would... Based on what? I yeah. would go to, to work and then go out to lunch and come back stoned or drunk. Oh, and nice. And the manager, You're Frank, toasted. <laughs> would say, he's toasted. And then they would just... It just... I worked with this dude, Terrence. And if there was only a few of us in the store, it just became toast. Hey, toast. Yeah. Hey, toast. Wow, you really did need to get off the... Uh... Yeah. And they, would, <laughs> they were calling you toast. <laughs> toast. Come to the back. <laughs> toast. 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 Wow. And, uh... I, when I went to the new park, I went, it stayed. Then I got sober when I was 18, and the nickname stayed even then. It was weird. Wow. I forgot about that. <laughs> wow. Hey, that uh, something toast. Anthony, you forgot. You're you're dopey because that's uh, what they like well, to call opiate dopey. Yeah. Because <laughs> they like to be clever with their headlines when we uh, do something bad. And I want to nip, <laughs> nip the rumors in the bud here. Uh, point blank is saying they tried to give Anth a uh, nickname, but he would just cry when they gave it to him, mm. which is probably the truth. I didn't like uh, the name game. They called me Tony for short. You yeah, know? you didn't like Tony. Tony for short, and I didn't like it. I hear they so like I to cried. I hear they like to call you Loch Ness. What? Just saying. Oh, Jiminy Cricket! Rumor has it that's kind of one of your secret uh, nicknames, Loch Ness. No, I'm not Ant Joe the Plumber Kumia. Loch. Oh, Loch Loch Ness. <laughs> no. <laughs> when he's in the tub, it looks like the surgeon's photo. <laughs> yeah, that's the very surgeon. famous. Yes, that's the famous. surgeon's <laughs> photo. Very famous uh, and hoaxed photo of Nessie, by the way. <laughs> Confessed on his death. Yes. Do you want us to shorten it to Lock, or you want to be Loch Ness? Well, I like Lock for, you know, lost. Mm, well, I understand that, but <laughs> we're, talking about your, we're talking about your penis here. Um, <laughs> I'm not the <laughs> bull prepper. No, <laughs> Anthony, the bull prepper. <laughs> and the truth, yes, Raphael. The truth of the matter is, uh, the bull prepper. Call me anything. Just don't call me late for dinner. No, almost. <laughs> almost? No. What is it? Call me what you. Just don't call me late for supper. Oh, supper. for supper. Supper. <laughs> wow. Is that a, what a delivery. Perfect. <laughs> Can we call you right? No! <laughs> That's stupid. You could call me Ray. Oh, you could call me Jay. Oh, you could call, call me Ray J. Oh, you can call me RJ. Oh, Ray J. J. Shut up. Yeah, we get your bit. What was the commercial for that one? One trick pony. It wasn't. It was the guy's stand up act. Dude, the guy would come out and just do that. Was that. A it yes. was an act. Yeah, find he us some audio of that. Find us the guy's act. His name is Ray J. Johnson or something. Mm. Dude, it was his act. It was probably a one or two line thing in his act, like a silly thing, you know, and then it probably got morphed into this monster. I never remember him doing anything else. He'd be on, like, Laugh-In or one of those dopey 70s variety shows. They'd drag him out to do his You Could Call Me Ray. That was his whole bit? 
his whole bit. Come on. Not another friggin' thing would Come be on. uttered. You could do two minutes on that top. He Stunt a, brain? He had a hit single with that. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, no, he was did. that a song? Yeah, he I'm had remembering a, this. Wait he, a minute. Yeah, I think you're right. He made a hit single Go with that. Go find me. that. Oh, God. Wait a minute. Just the thought of it just gave me goosey bumps. Oh, really? I, I'm, I'm all goosebumpy with with, with uh, the chills. The embarrassment? Yes. To hear it, mm -hmm. I may have to duck my head. You know who was a fan of uh, that Ray guy? Who? Pumpsy Green. Pumpsy Green uh, was a genius. <laughs> yes, Way ahead of his time. You can call me Pumpsy or you can call me Green, but please don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of my team. <laughs> Oh, wait, we're forgetting uh, other nicknames we do have. Mike in Jersey. Yes, Mikey. You guys' nicknames are Rick, Kit, and Crawl Space. Linger uh, longer. That's right. Rick, that's Kit, true. and Crawl Space in the morning. You could call me Ray. Or you could call me Jay. Why? Or you can call me Ray J. Or you, uh, why were we talking about this today? I don't know. Because we have a whole stinks. new audience now, so we got to kind of bring them up to speed. Yeah, yes, Dump. You guys were talking about nicknames and the fact that Ant didn't have one, and, oh, and somehow I said, why we not? got into late for dinner. And, and it was because of the um, the uh, Devil Rays becoming yeah. just the Rays. Yeah. And then I started doing that, and people said, "What are you doing?" Right. <laughs> and I had to explain that this this unfunny hack. Uh, back in the, uh, I don't even know when it, when he started, but I remember as a kid in 70s, the 70s early watching, 80s tops. watching like laughing or, or the dumb variety shows back then. Captain and Tennille. He was the Ray guy. This he would he just was... come out and do this. And it was his only, this is all he did. He parlayed it into a, uh, a commercial, a hit song. And according to Anthony, this is all he did. Yeah. Bush natural light. Just say natural. You see, you doesn't have to call it Anheuser Bush natural light, and you doesn't have to call it Anheuser natural, and you doesn't have to call it Bush natural. Just say natural. Johnson's right. Oh, you can call me Ray, or you can call me Jay, or you can. For call a me great Johnson. tasting light beer, just say natural. But you doesn't have to call me Johnson. Two naturals, please. Please don't ask him his name. Name? You can call me Ray. Or you can Dude, that, oh that's, my God. And that's the commercial. So at the beginning, it was, you know, he was talking about beer. Yeah. But but his act was just, you could call me Ray, you could call me Jay. You or could, you can call it something. Would he do that for other things? No, no. It was just usually Ray, Jay, Johnny, Johnson. It was... It was no, it's, it was no, no, it's sad. Horrible. Danny just found a YouTube video of that guy. Yeah. It, it looks like a very current... Video and he's still doing the same thing. He's all about the you could call me for is his he entire still, life. Is he still gigging? <laughs> I would love if Raymond he was J. Still Johnson Jr. gigging somewhere. Well, then I mean, uh, looks like Bella outside uh, the uh, his house in yeah, no kidding, uh, Ed Wood. <laughs> Look, there, there he is currently doing the exact same bit. Is that yeah. what's going on? He yeah, looks get, a little older. I think he's dying his uh, famous Ray J. Jimmy Johnson uh, mustache or whatever it is. You can call me Ray. You can call me Ray. He's got cancer of the throat from that cigar he's holding. You can call me Johnny. You can call me Jay. Just don't call me for a swim in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hollywood thought he was so terrific they made a hit song. They didn't. Just a taste. Uh, this tells you when it's from. Disco. You can call me RJ, or you can call me JJ, but you doesn't have to call me Justin. You can call me Ray. Uh, Ray I gotta leave. I, no. can't, I gotta leave the room. Hold on, it's coming I can't back. Take this. It's hurting me. I, have, I feel pain. Call me Judy. I'm feeling pain. Johnson, Johnson. I'll give you a dance in Johnson. And let the booby master get out on the floor. Please more. Please more. <laughs> That's all we got. Please it's more. Whole, Please it's the whole song. More. It's uh, 1979, Dance in Johnson. Yes, E Rock. Um, <laughs> that song's over four minutes. Please. Holy God, no. And it, it took over a minute before it even got to that part. But well, how about just the lyric? Dancing. Dancing. Dude, dude, I can't. That's why. Look, look. It's horrible. I swear to you, I, I, I have goosebumps on me 
out of sheer embarrassment. But what did he say at the end? Ah, let me get out on the dance floor. Don't, no, don't say, don't repeat anything. Why he was get on the dance floor? Because yeah, he, he was, was gonna boogie too. Jimmy, please don't do this. Oh, it's good, Ant. It's so embarrassing. Why am I all flushed? Because he was going you to. You don't understand good music. Stop it, I can't. What's say. the last line? It's get so me the dance master on the dance floor. Oh. I can't. Oh, what's wrong with it? Ant? I want to hear the last oh, line again. Because it's so. Embarrassing. I think that's what he said at the end. Dancing, dancing. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> I've Shut I've, up. I've turned the corner on this song. <laughs> yeah, turn the corner. It is fun. It's not hurting anyone, Ant. It's hurting. No, it's I not. feel physical pain. Oh, no. Call me Judy. The Boogie Master. Get on the floor. On the floor. Did he get out on the floor and start dancing? One can only hope. Oh. <laughs> and he grabbed oh, his I chest can't. and fell to the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> I so get Anthony's. It's like there's this weird. Oh, what is that? Reaction when. Probably codependency because I have it. There's this weird reaction <sighs> when people try to be funny or make a fool out of themselves. Yeah. Where I will cringe for them. It's yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to acknowledge anyone else is around watching because then we have to acknowledge that that person is really douchey, and I don't want to do that. Mm. It's like you're seeing a person naked and exposed. Yeah. There's something exposing about certain moments like that, like they're trying to be, he's really trying to be a funny guy. Yeah, and, and you kind of think after it, like he, like he's in a studio doing that, and people are going, yeah, no, that was good. That was a good, good take on that. At that point, you just got to point and laugh at the guy. Makes everything No, good. no, I don't even want to point out. I'm, a, I'm either embarrassed or I want to shoot him in the head. Like, there's no middle ground of, no. of pointing, laughing. I, I want, I don't want to see him or I want him dead. <laughs> That's it's pretty much it. A terrible embarrassment for other people. I don't know exactly what uh -huh. that is. I think it has something to do with putting yourself in their place. Yeah, and yeah. Like, he doesn't know how everybody is looking at him right now. Yeah. There's this weird terror, like, d it goes, do people look at me that way? I, I don't know yeah. what, exactly what it is, but it's really... Really weird. I used to get this, um, these uh, weird little fantasies in my head of embarrassing the hell out of myself. I, I, I'd have to, I'd be dragged to my sister's stupid ballet recitals and stuff when she was in ballet as a little kid, and I would sit there and I was only I don't know, nine years old, and I would think, what would it be like if I ran up on stage and started clumsily doing the, what they're doing <laughs> and, and people would just be looking at me like, oh, my God, what is wrong with him? And I would get the feeling yep. like like I was doing that. I would get a physical, weird, embarrassed feeling. Well, you actually feel your body moving forward. Maybe you're not doing it physically, but inside you actually to, feel like. Not so much to do it. But you'd get this physical reaction as if you were doing it. You'd feel oh, okay. the embarrassment, the embarrassment that it would be. You. It would just be this total embarrassment. Yeah. God, yes. What the hell is that, Jimmy? I don't know. It's this weird thing of thinking. Like, I, for me, it would be at my grandmother's house, and I would think, like, what would happen if I said at the, my grandmother's house, pass the salt, you see? Holy Jesus. Profanity. Same thing I did at Christmas once. I was sitting there, and, got, and, and my grandmother came up, and she put down, like, some Christmassy colored M&Ms. And I just thought I could just blurt out, hey, thanks, C. And the family would just, just be like, what the hell is he doing? Maybe we're actually cousins and our grandmother's just a C. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I get that in adulthood now at age yeah, 40. Yeah, I like, do that. Like, well, what did happen recently? There was a birthday cake or something. Or was it my aunt's wedding recently? Oh, no. Like, what would happen if I just took my fist and went for a big laugh and <laughs> plowed my fist into it and no one laughed? But the cake of the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he putting on that, uh, that elbow high glove? <laughs> but if I pouted, if I knocked the cake over, or when they came in saying happy birthday to me, <laughs> How awkward a moment would it have been? The embarrassment I would have felt if I knocked the cake and like a couple of the awkward. They smiles, would be compelled. Like, you know what? What uh, they would be compelled to laugh because oh look, Jimmy's just being Jimmy. But really inside they'd be going, God, what a dopey see, what, move! What, why funny. would he do that? That's not funny. It's like uh, I would. Think Ew, of that, I'm embarrassed like, for you now. Think like, of that. Because yeah, like, I'd be like, look, guys, and then like nobody would laugh or no. they would politely titter like ha ha ha. ha. Oh, and then maybe someone would pull you aside later and go, you know, yeah. they they put in for that cake and everything and. Oh. What I'm just being, 
Uh, 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 I gotta shake this I've off. I've gotten that my whole. I, gotta shake this off. <laughs> I wish someone would tell me what that is. I think I think everyone has that. Oh, uh, uh, that is really odd. I do that all the time, though. I would do that like in church at weddings and stuff like that. I would think if you got up and just started like the echoey church and just started reciting like satanic. Uh, uh, the satanic words from some friggin' devil worship book. One of our <laughs> one of our L.A. trips. <laughs> Horrible. What would they do? One, one of our L.A. trips, we went and saw Bill Maher when he was still doing it on, I think, Comedy Central. And mm. we were sitting, I believe, in like the second row or something, and I was getting the feeling that I wanted to just get up, run, and tackle Bill Maher. For real? Oh yeah, those things where it's and, like and I was I could do and, it, but I, I was, have I have the I can physically do this, but I really wanted to do that, yeah. not to like bring harm or anything. I just had this overwhelming feeling of just charging the stage and just taking them down. The thing is, and I think it is uh, like all those things we've been talking about. You have the physical capability to do it. You have legs to get up. Mm -hmm. You have hands to smash the cake or whatever it is. But there's some bit of sanity that, that keeps you from you doing it. But your imagination can actually put you in that position that, to where you, you get that feeling of what it would be like if you had done but it. But that sanity is very fragile in your in your mind. You're like, oh, my God, you, you, uh, I, I can't do this. Me and my brother started laughing our asses off in church one day during, it was a goddamn funeral or something. It wasn't somebody really close, but it's a funeral for F's sake, you know. And, and my brother, he was probably stoned at the time, he goes, could you imagine if, like, because it was big crucifix, Jesus on it, mm -hmm. of course, and uh, uh, if the crucifix kind of went d down on an angle and shot Jesus off it like a crossbow, <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing. That's very funny. And it's a funeral, That's and my head is down, and I assume people probably thought I was crying or something, but... But that would have been odd because I didn't really know the person that well, and I'm kind of in the back of the church, and... It's just a weird situation. My brother's all stone, just laughing. <laughs> hey, we got someone that's going to explain. She's a regular Ooh. to the show. Oh, it's Lydia. Lydia. I was actually thinking of Lydia. Our I shrink. Said, Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, Lydia. Oh, by the way, Lydia, before you go, Lydia, before, Lydia, before you do it, this is something that actually did happen to me. And it was humiliating. Yeah. I was in the movie theaters with a bunch of my friends when watching Revenge of the Nerds, and I tried to be a funny guy in the movie theater. And I yelled out a couple of things, and nobody laughed. Mm. And my friend Bill D'Angelo was so mm. like embarrassed by me. I, it was a terribly delivered joke. There was a oh, massage no. scene. This guy was putting liquid in someone's back. Let's just say, uh, think think of an embarrassing liquid from a guy that you wouldn't want on your back. Right. Uh, let's just call it joy. It's not joy, but let's say for the sake of treasure, it was joy. Sure. Real quiet. The massage is happening, and I yelled, "That's joy. He's rubbing in your back." <laughs> but the mail, yeah, it got a zero. And, and where was this? In a movie theater, watching Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, okay. And my friend Bill just went. He sunk down. He went. Shut up, Jim. <laughs> oh. I yelled something out in a, the Bayshore Porno Theater. It was after um. What? Yeah. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> What's that kid yelling? Oh. <laughs> Where's my daddy? <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, the um, this uh, uh, woman had just gotten done servicing a gentleman um, and doing a very good job of it to completion, um, and then she kind of cleaned herself off as if she had just had some sloppy pischetti mm -hmm. or something. And the theater was pretty quiet at the time, and I just yelled out, "Yeah, but can she cook?" <laughs> what did it get? Zilcho. <laughs> that is funny, though. <laughs> I thought it would be like funny, but no one in there cares about funny. I think it's a good line. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, a good line. Great but, line, God damn it. But your audience was uh, not into hearing jokes at that no. moment. But Lydia, what do you got? Because we got to go to break here. And by the way, I was what? joking about Rob uh, Cordry. From the Daily Show, I, I was just messing with uh, the people out there. Relax. A lot of Rob Cordry uh, fans very excited that he's going to be on our show in a sure. half hour or so. Go ahead, Lydia. No, I didn't say it. It's George Burns. <laughs> yeah, guys talking of, yeah. What you guys are talking about is a mild form of obsessive compulsive disorder. We all have a little bit of it, but you're talking about compulsions, things that you feel like you have to do and you have to sort of fight against the urge mm. no i know what you're saying Lydia, yep. but my my thing is 
Why? Okay, like forget the examples we gave. Why is it that when somebody else, like when we hear that song, where we have no compulsion to do anything, we feel the embarrassment for that guy? Oh, what? I think that's. I think that's just regular empathy, not obsessive compulsive disorder. Oh, We've all been in this mm-hmm. situation where it feels like we have a rock in our stomach because we shouted out something stupid or did something like that. I guess it's the same way you could feel sorry for somebody. If you see something, you kind of feel like eh, you feel bad. Not not in an embarrassing right, way. Right, right. Like you see somebody that's you know a little less fortunate, mm-hmm. a little child in a, a wheelchair or something. You, you just kind of feel. And then then you push him down the stairs and feel that weird embarrassing feeling yeah. again. No one laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> All right, Lydia, we got to take a break. Thanks, Bye, Shrinky guys. Dink. Ow! Everybody, come on. So disco. Gotta love the disco days. Do you? Ass thing, thank God. This this shit like this made AIDS. This is the stuff that actually made AIDS. All that master. stuff mixed together, <laughs> and this is part of it. The boogie master have fun. Should I just let the boogie master have fun? You know more? No, no, Only Jimmy. No, no, you don't. No, you Dude, don't. He's Raymond J. Johnson Jr. He, you could call him Ray, and you could call him Jay. He doesn't have to call him Johnson. How about we call him gay? Or you can give me AIDS, or you can give me cancer, or you can give me polyps, but you doesn't have to call me Johnson. This could be a fun dancing, game. Dancing, dancing. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. Back to this horse shit. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Line of the Day is brought to you by WebEggs.com. Home meetings, big presentations, and do it for the comfort of your own home or office. Check it out at WebEx.com. That's WebEx.com. If that'll help you sooner, it doesn't have to call me Johnson. You can call me Sonny, but look at here, honey. What a revolting decade. Hey, look at here. Just horrid. Uh, No, what's wrong with look at here, honey? Now look at here, honey. Honey. Anytime a white guy says he's going to boogie, I want to fucking puke. Don't exactly. boogie. Unless he says, I want a boogie, and he, you hand him one and he eats it. <laughs> like from, in a restaurant. <laughs> Wipes it on my couch. <laughs> Ray J. Johnson ain't coming over my house. Dude, I want to. With f- his boogie. On the phones, we got Ray in Philly. Oh Hello. I'm being answered <laughs> yeah. show. Good morning, boys. Good morning, Aaron. Ray. Hey, um, my aunt was in a mall. Down oh, you can, oh. <laughs> you can call me Ray. You can call me Jay. You can call me Ray J. Johnny. But she doesn't have to call me Johnson. Oh, 
Ugh! <laughs> that should have been killed years ago. You didn't like that bit? Oh, that bit was horrid. It was all right. Ray J. Johnson. Every time you called him Ray, you would just jump. Hey, you can come. We got it. Well, what, uh, Mr. Johnson, you doesn't have to call me Mr. Johnson. You can call me Ray. <laughs> or you can, yes, we get it. Can Ooh. we try to figure out the worst comedy uh, sketch ever? That's it. Not, not comedy <laughs> sketch. The worst comedy, stand-up comedy bit ever. Like, the Ooh. one Ant just described, the Ray is right up there. Horrific. See, the only problem is no. we probably don't know it because it's probably so bad it never got famous. No, mm. it's one of those that is over-the-top famous for... <laughs> Jiffy Jeff's Jim. <laughs> That's a Nelson bit. Yeah. I, I'm familiar with the character. I don't know the bit. Yeah. Uh, people say, worst comedy bit ever, Kevin Meany's We Are the World. You know what, though? That was relevant when it came out. It was kind of funny because he, he would, you know. It was good when he first started doing when it. When first started. We you didn't see need it to hear, now. We didn't need to hear it 20 years later. Now, Charlie Callis had a horrible bit, too. That was the comedian that went. <laughs> what was his bit? I did a, <laughs> he would just talk and go like. <laughs> I did a movie with him, and he was a very famous I'm guy. A, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I don't know what he does. He would make stupid faces and sounds. Look, Kenny's laughing. You, Kenny looked like he was probably a Charlie Callis fan. Who wasn't back in the day? <laughs> Who wasn't? <laughs> you know, everyone. But he was always on these variety shows. Him and the Ray J. Johnson guy, they're always on these Dean Martin variety shows and Bob Hope. Hey, hey, we got Ray J. Johnson coming out with Charo. Oof. oof. <laughs> just, would he come out and just oh, do his bit? of course. Hey, Charlie Callis is coming out in a little while. <laughs> I need to see Charlie Callis now. <laughs> Was it a funny bit? No! <laughs> Stunk! <laughs> it's terrible. We're going to take a break. we got to get Charlie Callis uh, his picture up so we know who you're talking about. You know, where's uh, I want to see uh, Charlie Callis. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that after the break. How's that? Does. But Charlie Callis thinks. Hit me with a break. We'll continue. Opie and Anthony and little Jimmy Norton. Is it true that Charlie Callis was part of the... <laughs> he was the new uh, Peter Brady. Yes. <laughs> Peter? Peter? <laughs> we have audio him? Of him doing dumb sounds. What, Charlie Callis? We're getting some Charlie Callis. I got some Charlie Callis. Oh, oh look, he's doing a make-believe phone bit. Uh, oh, we God, this that is up? horrible. Oh, we can do it now. This has got to be terrible. Oh, way over here. Opie. Ralph! Hey, Ralph! <laughs> Guess who this is? Yeah, dummy, this is me. This is your. This is This is your. This is your friend. Yeah. This is. This is. This is. You know what short for? This is. Sam. Say, listen there, Sam. Today's my. Today's my. He's laughing at his own joke Today's now. Today's my birthday. And for my birthday, my friends, they all here. They all here. They all here. Hip in. And you know what they. Whoa. And you know what they. Whoa. <laughs> and you know what they bought me? That's right. They bought me. Nice. Right. They bought me. All right. They bought me. All right. You know, it's a weird. It's a weird. Winchester cut. You put it. All right. They bought oh, me a shotgun. Bit. So I'll uh, listen to well, why don't you? Why don't you jump on your car and drive up to my. Uh. And drive up to my. Uh. Just Jerry go Lewis here. laughing his ass Come off in the background. I'm gonna go shoot. I'm gonna go shoot. I'm gonna go shoot him. <laughs> shoot? What? What do I know? April, May, this is a great time of year to go out and shoot some. We can go out and shoot some. We can go out and shoot some. You know those animals with the feet that look, look something like a moose in the hole? We'll shoot some birds. So his friend. His friend at the. His friend at the other end says. Horrible. <laughs> What is he doing? Wow. Who's clapping? That wasn't bad. And this is half over, by the way. It's still. Oh, yeah. Believe me, it'll go on and on, much to the torture of everybody. Out into the country. Birds flying all around. Thousands of them. So, anyhow, the guys who. Let me do that over again. The guy whose birthday it is, he says, hey, look. 
Why is he doing it? Mike, right there, Mike, and Mike, and Mike, and Mike, and Mike. Go on, I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna, sh- just not hear you, way. Because I'm on a fire first. I, I don't get it. He's saying things weird. Yeah. And then he walks around making funny faces and moving his arms around. Go ahead. Like he does a lot of visual stuff. Well, he's on television. He takes his Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does seem to be on television. <laughs> That's only bad on the radio, Ant. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's driving me nuts. It just goes on and on of him going. <laughs> Well, uh, a nice observation coming in. Let's say hi to Nick in Pennsylvania. Nick? How you doing, boys? Hey, hey Nick. Nick. I just got to ask you guys, what is the difference between Charlie Callis and Twitchell doing the news? You know something? <laughs> You're absolutely right, and that's why I hate Louis Twitchell Santani, is because maybe he reminds me of Charlie Callis. Charlie Callis was doing that on The Tonight Show, though, right? Was that The Tonight Show? It's, uh, I see Jerry Lewis there, so I don't know. Was Jerry uh, Lewis it was the in? Jerry Langford Show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With special guest, Charlie Callis, and the new comedy find of the century, <laughs> Rupert Pumpkin. <laughs> I don't hate Charlie Callis. I oh, hate him. We hate him, Jimmy. That's just not my thing, that wacky, you know, but... Not know. your thing. I'd rather fuck a male real doll. <laughs> no, I can't do both. <laughs> Without the doll. <laughs> uh, Sam, oh. sounds like this chiller uh, convention sucked. No, it was a place to see and be seen. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Yep. Frank Stallone was there. Not the place to hear and be heard if you're Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> <laughs> Only half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, why couldn't anyone hear a little? <laughs> We're not old <laughs> I'm just gonna Charlie Callis my way out of bombs today. <laughs> so he said, <laughs> "I can't hear." <laughs> the only one that was popping bottles and made it fun was Fatty Arbuckle. <laughs> I leave it to Ant to find the one rape murder with a bottle. <laughs> he, no, to, he knew how to have he, some fun. He, 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 he saw it dead. He knew how to have a lot of fun. He took the bottle, ah, took the bottle, ah, took the bottle, ah, and broke it in a cunt. <laughs> you didn't tap your foot. It's the only. Oh, I'm obsessed with the foot part I of the can't. bed. <laughs> He's too small in his chair. I, yeah, he can't reach he the floor. He's Just, tiny in his chair. I'm Jimmy Callis, not Jimmy Lark Lemon. <laughs> Twitter friend. 923 now has 674 fucking friends. That's it, huh? That stinks. Oh, they suck. Charlie Callis didn't make me laugh. You didn't like. No, what was that? What is that? It's not funny. Shut up. Yeah, I gotta go down and. So I was in the store and I was like. The fuck is that? I forgot all about that. I did a horrible movie with him. Hey, good news. Really? Yes. Who did the what? Do you did the Charlie Callis? What's that? You did a show with him. I did a movie with him. A oh. movie? It wasn't great, um, and I and I never promoted because the guys didn't want to do the right thing and g- give me anything. So really? I was like, I'll never promote it. So I won't promote it. It wasn't a great movie at all. So I wouldn't recommend it. But it was it's cool meeting Charlie, Charlie Callis. Callis. Yeah. At the front. Like a callus on your hand. Yeah, except it's C A L L A S. There's no O U S in there. Uh-huh. Please stop sending young Daniel on a humiliating misadventure. <laughs> <laughs> misadventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember he would. Uh, there has to be some of him doing stand up. Oh, uh, yeah. It was unwatchable. Yeah, here, here it is. Oh, it's Here's terrible. Charlie Callis. This is what went on during and after. The phone conversation. He's dialing a phone. Hello, this is this is this Ralph. this Ralph. Hey, Ralph. What the fuck is this? Guess who this is? Yes, I mean, this is me. This is y'all. This is y'all. This is y'all. This is y'all's friend. Yeah. 
This is the This is the This is the This is the You know what short for this is? Sam. Say listen there, Sam. I love when people say that the comedians of today are no good, but back in the old days, yeah. really? This guy was on so many TV Every shows. Yeah. He's laughing. Today's my birthday. And for my a birthday, my friends, they all sh- They all sh- They all sh- And you know what they... Whoa. And you know what they... Whoa. <laughs> He's laughing at you know himself. They cause... That's right. They bought me... They bought me... They bought me... They bought me... They you know, it's a, it's a Winchester cut. You put it... Oh, my God, six night. minutes ago. This goes on for another six fucking minutes. It's horrendous. Why don't, you, why don't you jump on your car and drive up to my... Uh, and drive up to my... Uh, drive, drive, drive over to my house. We'll go out to the... Uh, come to me. I'm going to go... Sh- I'm going to go... Sh- I'm going to go... Sh- shoot it. Shoot what? What do I know? April, May, this is a great time of year to go out and shoot some heat. We can go out and shoot some heat. We can go out and shoot some heat. You know, Why know is this fucking funny? Uh, Why hold- are people laughing? His left arm must get tired holding the phone against his face. I get the His fake phone. Fake fo- oh, he stopped the fake phone. Yes. Oh, what is he going to? The other end says. Oh, no. He- <laughs> oh, this guy's a hoot. What show is this from? I don't know. The, the fucking shit hour. <laughs> <laughs> They're loving him. I don't hand. I don't hand. Stop fooling around. Will you? Come on over. Yeah, you are. So Sven gets in the car. YouTube loves him. Look at the look at the likes on this video. Are you shitting me? They're liking it over two. What? What? And I said, I got it. Uh, I got it. Uh, I got it. Uh. Derp. But it's all I want to do now. All I want to do now. All I want to do now is talk like that. <laughs> just to a hapa. Just to a hapa. Just to a hapa. Annoy the listeners. <laughs> it's geek. It's geek. It's geek. It's geek. It's working. I really think that we should just say, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey uh, can I see you guys after the show? You can die on the way to the elevator. On the way to the elevator. It's <laughs> terrible. Oh, I, I just want to do that. The whole uh, hey, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> E Rock. <laughs> just make really awful noises, though. <laughs> just very uncomfortable noises. I don't know what a for the yeah, ears. I don't yeah. know what a, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what a <laughs> awful sound <laughs> would be. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was his whole fucking act. Yeah. He was booked everywhere in Vegas and fucking he was on the Tonight Dude, Show. Dude, he would just go and. <laughs> <laughs> Get onto a plane, a plane, a plane, plane. <laughs> All you would need is one minute of material. Oh, you yeah. Fuck it. You could stretch out to five. And a horrible story wrapped around it. Yeah. Carson loved him, really? Yeah, Carson did love him. The hell was up with that? Oh, I don't know, man. Maybe it, maybe it was Reason. the times. Yeah, the yeah. times are different. It was crazy. Uh, Vietnam, Vietnam was going on, so yeah. anything yeah. made you laugh. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, we, we were shooting some good. We were shooting some good. <laughs> we were shooting some good. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and then they all came home. And then they all came. They all came in a body bag. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> 